my fellow Amazonians, this has been a tough year where the Amazonian Defense Forces have lost some incredible commanders on the field. Irreplaceable soldiers of Amazonians, like the Colonel Butans. But we have also seen the emergence of lions of Amazonia. Soldiers who have taken the fight to La Republic du Cameroon. We honor them. That is why today, at this moment, the Major General of Abuy Military District, Major General Capo, has been promoted to the rank of a Lieutenant General in the Amazonian Defense Forces. He will take his place in the chain of command as the fourth overall commander under the Supreme General of the Ambazonian Defense Forces. The work that he has done in our Bui military district, the fight that he has taken to La Republic du Cameroon, his demonstration of leadership, his courage, and his intelligence, his pride as an Ambazonian, as an ADF, Ambazonian Defense Forces commander, has brought him to this point. We honor his service. We know that he will stabilize and occupy Bui and liberate the Bui military district. Congratulations, General. We thank you for your sacrifices and your effort this year. In that light, let me also recognize the commander of our Meme military district. Commander Felix has been one of the most incredible soldiers of the Ambazonian Defense Forces and of this libera liberation this year of our Lord 2022. Picking up the baton of a unit hit with the killing of General Deco in the battlefield, rallying that unit within a year and expanding, expanding it has shown a depth of leadership in Commander Felix that we recognize this end of year and why he is today appointed the Major General of our Meme Military District encompassing the states of Meme and Dian. Major General Felix, your courage, your sacrifices, your leadership under the face of intense fire has brought you to this point. We know that you have more to offer in your arsenal that is why you are today also named in the line of in the chain of command as the fifth overall commander of the Amazonian Defense Forces under the Supreme General. You follow in the footsteps with another major, a neighbor of yours in our Man U military district who has deployed to the base and is the third overall commander of the Amazonian Defense Forces. In the coming days, other appointments will be made as we fill up the chain of command in our different districts as we recognize 
some of those who have shown unequal leadership in the field and courage and who have knocked back the enemy and brought them on their knees. I ask the people of Ambazonia to pray for these commanders that their added leadership responsibilities enable them to accomplish more than what they did in 2022. And if they do that, I have no doubt that the year of our liberation is upon us in the next